Hello, in today's video we're going to calculate probabilities from a game that I just discovered about uh, two, three weeks ago. It's called Farkle. It's played with six dice. You roll, you set some aside, you roll again if needed. And so I'm not going to really teach you how to play Farkle, but we're going to, uh, I'm going to show you how to calculate the probabilities from each of these. So basically the scoring is if you roll a one or a five or three of a kind, four of a kind, six of a kind, you know, three pairs, two triplets, etc. And we'll we'll I'll go over these again. And uh, so that's what we're doing. And so at any point in time you could have six die in your hand or one die. And we're gonna uh, calculate probabilities of of winning. And if you don't, or you know, scoring, I guess what I meant by winning. And if you don't score, it's called a farkle. So if you farkle, meaning you don't score, you pass the die to the next uh, player, and they, and then they take over. And then it's their turn. And we're going to start at one die, and then two, then three, and work up to six. So if we have one die in our hand, there's six total outcomes, and you score by a one or a five. And so there's one way to roll a one and one way to roll a four. And there's four ways to farkle, meaning you don't score. Now, in interest of time, we're not going to calculate probabilities. These are just a number of ways. So if you want probability, you take the number of ways divided by outcome. So one sixth, one sixth, four sixth. Um, when there are two die, then there are... 36 total outcomes, you know, of, the, of their two die. And the possible ways to score is you roll a one, you know, exactly one one, a one, two ones, a one five, a five five, or exactly a five. And so to the, the number of ways to roll exactly one is um, of this, of the, of the two die, pick one, and then there's one way to roll a one, and then there's four ways to roll the second die and not score. So remember, to score, you a one or a five automatically scores. So if we only want one one, and then on the first die we, we roll a one, on the second die there's only four outcomes, because the one and five can't happen if we've rolled a one on this one. So there's eight possible ways to roll a one. To roll a one and a one, well, there's only one way of the 36 ways. You know, you have to have a one on both die. Now, to roll a um, a one and a five, so the way you do it is of the two die, you pick one. Then there's one way to roll a one. Then of the one die left, pick one, and there's one way to roll a five. And uh, so it's two times one is two. And I'm assuming you're familiar with combinatorics and permutation, notation, etc. Now I'm writing it like this because it's going to help us later in the video. You know, from it, there's, you know, you could just say, oh yeah, there's two, because you could roll a one and a five or a five and a one, and that's it. So there's two. But these combinatorics notation is going to help us in the long run. Now a five and a five is the same as a one and a one. And so there's one. A, a, to roll a five is the same as to roll a one, so there's eight. And then that leaves, you add those up, subtract it from the number of ways, which is 16, so there's 16 ways to not score. So three die, the ways to score are, um, well, first of all, there's 216 possible outcomes you know six times six times six six cubed and the ways to score are three of a kind and then all the ways to roll a one or a five and then of course farkle and so we're going to go through these so to roll three of a kind there you have to have all three die the same number so of the six numbers we're going to pick one of them and there's six ways to do that. So there's six ways to roll a three of a kind when there's three die. To roll a one, um, what we do is we pick, of the three die, we pick one, and we're gonna roll a one. 
On the second die, there's four ways, and on the third die, there's four ways. So there's 48 total ways to roll exactly one one and no five, or another one. Um, so to roll a one and a one, we of the three die, we're, we're gonna pick two of them, and we're gonna roll a one and a one, so there's only one way to roll a one and a one on those two die. And on the third die, there, there's four outcomes, so that's 12. On To roll a one and a five, so of the three die, we pick one. There's one way to roll a one. Of the two die left, we pick one because we have to roll a five, and there's one way to do that. On the third die, there's four ways to roll a number that's not a one or a five, so there's 24 outcomes. To roll a one and a one is we of the three die, we pick two. We want a one and a one on both of those die. And then on the third die, there's only one way to roll a five. So there's three outcomes. And now we get uh, we get a borrow from what we already calculated. You know, a one one five is the same as a five five one. So that's three. A five and a five is the same as a one and a one. A five is the same as a one. And so these are the number of outcomes. Now let's go to four die. Then there are four or six raises of the fourth total outcomes. And the ways to win are these four of a kind, three of a kind, the all possible ways to have a one and a five. And then of course, sparkle means you don't score. So we'll go through these. So, um, the number of ways to get four of a kind is you need all the same numbers on all four die. So there's six numbers and we need to pick one of them. So there's six ways to roll four of a kind. For three of a kind, now of the six numbers, we want to pick one of them, you know, for our three of a kind. And then of the four die, we want to pick three of them for our number that we picked here to be on and then for the fourth die there's five ways to roll a number that's not what we rolled here to get three of a kind so there's 120. Uh, the number of ways to roll a one is of the four die we're going to pick one of them and we want a one on that one now the other three there's four to the third possibilities but we can't roll three of a kind because then it would go up here so we have to subtract out the number of ways we can roll three of a kind with three die but there's only but it can only be you know not a one or a five so there's only four possibilities so there's four ways to roll a three of a kind straight with four outcomes so there's 240 possibilities so a one and a one is of the four die we pick two of them you know for these ones and there's one way to roll a one and a one. Then on the third die, there's four possibilities. The fourth die, there's four possibilities, 96 total ways. Um, a one and a five, so of the four die, pick one. There's one way to roll a one. There's three die left, but we choose one of them for the five. There's one way to roll a five. And on the next two die, there's four uh, ways on each die, so it's four squared. So it's 192 ways. So for a one five five, um, we're gonna pick uh, two of the four die for the fives, and there's only one times one way to roll a five and a five. Of the two die left, we want one of them for this one, and that's what this is, and then on the last die, there's four possible ways, so it's 48. Now, a one five five is the same as a five one one, so it's, we're gonna borrow there, that's 48. Uh, a 1155 five. of the four die we want two of them for these ones and there's only one times one way to roll a one and a one of the two die left we want two of them for these fives and there's only one way to roll that so there's six ways um, a five and a five is the same as a one and a one as far as probability goes a five is the same as a one which is 240 um, add those up, subtract from the number of ways, that's the number of ways to Farkle, meaning not score. Now the fun really begins here. The next three, or the next, uh, that was four dice, so five and six. 
Um, and the, the, this is fun to think about actually for me. So we have five die and, and counting is really tough for a lot of people, including me. But and of course, that's what makes it fun to think about. So we have five die, so it's six to the fifth number of ways. So the possible ways to score, four, four, five of a kind, four of a kind, three of a kind, all the ways to uh, uh, score a one and a five and not be one of these, and then a farkle. So let's, let's go through these. So five of a kind, there's uh, six numbers, we want one of them, and they all have to match, so there's six ways to roll a five of a kind. Four of a kind, we want of the six numbers, pick one of them for the number for the four of a kind. Now of the five die, we want to pick four of them for our number, and there's, there's one to the fourth ways to pick that number that we just chose here, and on the last die, there's five ways to pick a number that's not one that we just chose, so it's 150. Now three of a kind, um, so of the six numbers, pick one. Now of the five dice, pick three of them for that number. And the probability that we roll a th that number is one to the cubed. And then on the remaining two die, there's five each, five outcomes each on those two dice, so it's five squared, which is 1,500. Now a one, look at this one. So of the, uh, of the five die, we pick one of them, and there's one way to roll a one. Now on the remaining four die, there's four raised to the fourth number of ways that the next four die can be rolled. But we have to subtract out the probability uh, or the number of ways to roll a four of a kind because then it would go up here. And we also have to subtract out the number of ways to roll a three of a kind, which is this. So and we'll go through this one. So of the four numbers that I can are left, because it can't be a one or a five, pick one of them. Of the four dice left, pick three of them for that number. There's one cube ways for that number to on those three die, and the, and the um, fourth die, there's three possibilities, so it becomes 1,020. Now for a one and a one, of the five die, pick two of them for our one and a one, and then that's probably a roll and a one and a one. And then the remaining three die, there's four cubed minus the uh, possibility of a, a, a three of a kind, or three in a row. And so there's 600 ways. To, num to roll a one and a five, so of the five die, pick one for our one, one way to roll a one. Of the four dice remaining, pick one for our five, and there's one way to roll a five. And there's four to the third possibilities for the next three die, but we have to subtract out the number of ways that we can get three of a kind. Otherwise, it'd be up here. So then it's uh, 1,200. Uh, for uh, a one five five, so of the five die, pick one for our one, one way to roll a one. Of the four die left, pick two of them for our two fives. That's the way to num roll two fives. And of the two dice remaining, there's four ways each of them to roll a number. So that's 480. Now one five five is the same as a one one five. Oop, this is a new one. So of the five die, pick two of them. For these ones, there's one way to roll a one and a one. Of the three die left, pick two for these fives. And there's one way to roll a five and a five. And technically that should probably be one squared. So let's do that. And then on the last die, the fifth die, there's four possibilities we can have and, and fit this, so it's 120. Now five and a five is the same as a one and a one. A five is the same as a one and then Farkle. And again, to calculate probabilities, you take these number of ways divided by this, and then that becomes a probability. So now, on the last die, so there's six die left, and now depending upon which Farkle game you have, I'm learning, and this one is, since I bought it fairly recently, the, the uh, scoring can be different, the number of possible wins can be different, and so here, there's six of a kind, five of a kind, four of a kind. But we could have 
four of one number and two of another number and that's a, you know or we have three pairs now originally I think this this was part of the three pairs you know because technically this is two pairs or four of a kind and then a, a straight six numbers in a row two triplets three of a kind the the ones and fives possibilities and a far so let's go through these so the number of ways to roll six and a kind is we want of the six numbers pick one of them and then they all have to be that number so there's six ways for five of a kind uh, of the six numbers pick one of the six die pick five of them for these numbers and then it's one to the fifth because there's only one way to roll those numbers and on the last die there's five possibilities so 180 so on the four die there are four of a kind so of the six numbers pick one of the six die pick four for these and then on the next two there's five outcomes and then four outcomes um, if and, and the reason that we do this, if um, notice if those, okay, we have four in a row here, but if these two are the same, so there's five and five, that would include this. So we have to make sure that these the, the fifth and sixth die are different. That's why it's five and a four, which is 1,080. So now to, to do the 4-2 the combo, of the six numbers, pick one. That's for the four. Of the six die, pick four of them for those four numbers. And that's the ways to roll those uh, four numbers. Uh, of the, oh, so there's, so then of the five numbers left, so this, we've chosen one number. Of the five numbers left, pick one of them. And that's what this, the, the paired numbers are. And then there's one and one ways to roll that pair. So there's 450. Now three pairs is, um, three, so these have to each be different numbers, right? Otherwise it may fit into one of these. So of the six numbers, pick three of them. Okay, so those, and those three numbers represent the three pairs. So then of the six die, pick two of them. That's for the first pair. Of the four die, pick two of them, that's for the second pair. The two left, pick two, that's one, and then so that's the number of ways. A straight is just six factorial. You can, you know, on the first die, there's six choices. On the second die, there's five, there's four, then three, and two, one. So that's uh, six factorial. Two triples. Now, here the, we have to have the two numbers be different. So of the six numbers, pick two. And then of the six die, pick three of them for the first number. And then the three die, pick three for the second number. So there's 300 ways to do two triples. Now three of a kind is um, six, six numbers, pick one of them for this. Of the six die, pick three of them. And now on the remaining three die, there's five cube ways. But we have to subtract out the number ways to get a straight. Because if, if we got three of a kind here, then it'd be, we'd be in the two triples setting. So we have to subtract out one of them. And this is the number of ways, 1440. Now the number of ways to roll a one is of the six numbers, pick one of them. Um, no, let me do that back. Of the six die, pick one of them for a one. And then of the remaining five die, there's four to the fifth number of ways because it can't be a one or a five. And then we have to subtract out the uh, five of a kind, subtract out the four of a kind, subtract out the three of a kind. And so there's 3,600 ways. Now to roll a one and a one, of the six die, pick two of them. And then there's four to the fourth number of ways for the, the remaining four die. But we have to subtract out um, the number of ways for four of a kind, number of ways for three of a kind. And we actually have to subtract out the number of ways to get two pairs because then we would be in the uh, three pair setting. So we can't, can't have that possibility. So there's 20, uh, 2,520 ways. So now to roll a one and a five of the six die, pick one and that's a one. Of the five die left, pick one, that's for the five. 
and then of the four dice remaining there's four to the fourth possibility subtract out uh, uh, four of a kind subtract out three of a kind and we actually have to subtract out a straight because we could have four numbers that make that a straight so that's uh, 5,400 so a one five five of the six die pick one for this of the five die remaining pick two there's uh, four to the three possibilities for the remaining three die but we have to subtract out the possibility of a straight so there's 3,600 um, uh, 115 is the same as a 551 so we get a bar of that here um, of the six die pick two of them for the ones there's four left so of the four pick two for the fives and then uh, we have uh, four possibilities for the fifth one and the sixth one can't be the same as what we picked here otherwise we'd be in the three pairs so it has, there's only three possibilities so it's 1080 uh, five fives the same as, as one one a five is the same as a one and then a farkle there's 1080 all right, well, that's all I have for today. Hope you enjoyed it. I, it was so much fun calculating these probabilities for Farkle. Um, I also created an R program that calculates these. Um, and so I, I'm going to publish that too. That'll probably be my next video or maybe my one after that video. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.